Hey guys, doing the second video because Casey just called me. But anyway, today was one of the days I didn't have to film and I got a lot of work to do, but you know what? I said, you know what? I'm going to auctions. I gotta go to auctions, I got stuff to do, but I can't miss an auction and I'm glad I did because I bought a unit for $2,300 and I just totally scored. Um, let me show you guys what this unit looks like. Uh, it's in Spring Valley, which is not the greatest area in San Diego, but I bought some Kilolakas out here. And there was actually a lot of people that for some reason they all stopped. I don't really know what was going on, but. So let me show you guys this unit right here. I mean, right up front was all these CDs and pretty much rock CDs. But that's a good sign. Then we have some nice furniture, futon bed. And see, people always get scared because stuff is dusty. It doesn't matter, it's a drive-up unit, no matter what. You can put the stuff in mint condition. If it's here for two or three months, it's completely dusty. I'll show you the score at the end. I saw this fireplace on the left, so, you know, regular people, if you just have an apartment, you don't have a fireplace like that. Plus, they had a few, um, what's it called, um, pillars, old ones, so that means you have some kind of interest. You have pillars, you have some kind of interest, not outdoor stuff. Then on the left hand side you could see a huge marble table and um, you know I mean those are expensive they're not the most popular anymore but they're still expensive and then right in the middle you saw the oak chair and you saw really cool stylish chairs that probably go with the marble table you saw some furniture also right here on the top left um, it was like a whole stack of art and I love buying art because one thing in this business if you want to take chances take chances on art and then right up front here was the CDs and it was also a Trek uh, that was a Trek mountain bike, you know, it's like a $150 mountain bike. Plus, I saw these right here. Check these out. A whole box of these. You know, that stuff sells, and like, again, you know, just regular people usually don't have stuff and stuff like that. So, you know, that box probably had $300, $400 in here. So, let me show you the rest of the unit, and I'll show you what I scored on already. And I, I mean, I've barely seen anything in this unit. But people always tell me they want me to share a unit, so here we go. I have no idea what's back there. Looks like maybe some more art boxes back there. I hope I find more because I totally scored on the art just now. Furniture boxes and then a whole left side of it is all boxes, surfboards. You know, a lot of people were freaked out because they saw a washer and dryer there and they said, why would they put a washer on top? But all they did, let me show you. All they did, they just, you see in the bottom right there, I don't know if you can see it. But they just stacked the wash on top of the top of the dryer, not a big deal. All boxes down the middle. And there's actually, if you go straight, I don't know if you can see, it looks like a really old wooden box. Wonder what's in there. So, that's the locker. I mean, I paid $2,300 for it. You know, I thought it was a little bit more packed in the back, but I, I see more art laying on there too. I thought it was a little bit more packed in the back, but um, I saw a lot of good money pieces where I figured I'm gonna take a chance. Okay, so here we got what I just scored on. Check out these beautiful pictures. They're all signed. Some of you guys, art experts, already know what they're by. When I first saw them, I was like, okay, I think that's what they are, but I'm not sure. And they have the, the little craft, so they have the original thick um, pressings. And notes, those are usually plate numbers. And here's the signature of our artist. And if you guys know this artist, this is my, these are my six pieces by now. The same artist. Here you guys go. And that's our artist right here. Now, I got a few more paintings to unwrap, so I'm gonna go check those really quick. And then, you know, right here it says they have three of seven frames, so I hope they have all seven pieces in here. So I have four so far. And right here is another artist. I got several pieces by her. It's really cool. It's kind of like a Picasso type style, and I kind of tried to quick research her, so her stuff is all over the place. Um, but I, I gotta check, so I don't know yet. But let me unwrap. There's a few more paintings right here on the right. I see right up front. They're small. I'm gonna go check those really quick, and I'm gonna tell you guys something the manager just told me too. Talk to you in a minute. Hey guys, we're back at the unit. It's been three days, but we were so busy at Bargain Hunters. Today is Halloween day, but me and my main man Hugo. We're gonna go through this unit, it has to get done today. So we're gonna show you some more stuff depending on what we find. You can see a really nice fire pit right here. See, over here's the top, which is even nicer than I thought. You got three marble bases, and you got the bottoms for them. This is a dining set, I believe. These are just end tables. 
but like I had a I had a feeling that this unit might have been some money. We found Harvard paperwork, Harvard cups, Harvard signs so far, just this little front. So the guy definitely went to Harvard in the 1980s, 1990s. And now I just pulled out Don Prion, 1993. People actually collect that stuff. And then um, a French champagne, I don't know this one. Perrier Chauté. Looks good too though. It's all brand new. So these things, I mean, you can actually sell these online and people collect these. And then I found all this, uh, I don't know, this, this looks like Russian and it's probably vodka. So it's all brand new boxes. And a bottle of, um, again, written in uh, Russian, but it's cognac. So I don't know, we still got a bunch of boxes. There's a lot of boxes in the back, so we're excited. Uh, I already pulled out two, three boxes that says wine on it. So most of them are like 15, 20 years old. So you gotta see what kind of condition they're in. Let's see what's in here. Cabernet Sauvignon, 1998. I don't know, you gotta look up the bottles. You'd be surprised, sometimes we find really good bottles of wine that are actually worth a lot of money. And I have a lot of friends that like to drink them, so I never have a problem getting rid of those. Anyway, if we find more cool stuff, we'll show you more in the video, so we just gotta get this done. We out. Just pulled out a piece of Murano class. Looks like it's art class, some sort of vase. And that's the Murano stickers right on here. I don't really know what it's worth, but I have somebody working for me that knows a lot about class, a lot about art class, and really knows Murano. So when we get back to the store, we're gonna have her take a look at it and see what she thinks. Just pulled out a longboard. I'm six foot, so that's oh, <laughs> dusty man. Whew. Seven foot. Let's take a look. We'll take a look at it. Hey, did I point out the fire pit yet? That's one of the main reasons I bought it. It's always a good sign. Looks like a good condition. Let's see who makes it. Diamond classing. I know that. But I don't see any damage. I'm not gonna unpack it the whole way. But not a nice piece. Should be at least a couple hundred bucks. Okay, guys. I'm gonna let you sweat it out. I just looked at this a little bit, and it looks like some kind of statue, wooden piece. So I don't know if it's good yet or not. But I'm gonna let you sweat it with me because I got two pieces here. So let's see. Remember, this units I found a Salvador Dali, so I'm like trying to pay. No, normally we don't look as much, especially since we have a lot to do today. But it's not every day that you pull out Dali, so I'm kind of paying attention to everything. Let's see what's in here. But it looks like it was cooled on before. So, let's see, that's one. I can tell you, it feels super heavy and it's very smooth right here. There's, uh, it says R Mus Yoka, either Mus Yoka or Mus Voka, M U S and then Y O B O K A. So, I'm gonna do some research. By the time you guys actually see this video, if I can find anything about them, I'm gonna let you know. Here. Oh man, broken too. Hand is broken off. Shoot. This looks again very heavy. Nice wood. Man, it sucks that they're broken though. Interesting. I got another one, we'll check it out. Oh wow, this was super heavy. Pretty sure it's the same thing, just by weight wise. Hopefully this one's not broken. How heavy is it? Uh, it's probably. Look at Hugo. <laughs> He's like, we want to know how heavy is it. That's at least uh, 30, 40 pounds, I would guess. Uh, maybe 30 pounds. I'm afraid to actually roll it right now. This one seems to be wrapped a little bit thicker. Don't you want to know how thick? How thick is it? <laughs> nah, that's, that sounded wrong. That just sounded wrong. Trying to say we don't have, we don't do that kind of show, Hugo. Yeah. By the way, uh, all you guys, uh, if you watch Storage Wars faithfully, you have seen Hugo in Storage Wars. Uh, he's kind of infamous for taking out the gate. Oh wow. This, this is one. Look at this. 
This one is not even broken. I've never seen a piece like this. Look how many pieces. I wonder if that's like some sort of family tree or something. This guy's obviously big and everybody's holding on. And... Oh, it goes around the circle here. And this one actually looks like it's in good condition. You know what? I can't help. I want to see if I can do this guy in my form of season sign too. Yeah, that's some kind of signature down here. Oh, these are cool pieces. So, when I have the video upload, I'm going to put a little text in saying what the stuff is, if I can find out. Nah? Hey guys. So there's so many boxes here. Me and Hugo are super dirty right now. But the good news, we're like 80% done. I just looked in this box. Goldham Stainless Steel, a flat four sets, five piece sets. They sell at Macy's for 50. Um, but I'm seeing them online on eBay, like a one box goes for 40 bucks. I didn't look this one up. And I have three, six, seven boxes. Let's say they're 30 bucks a piece, 210 bucks, probably 40 bucks here. Just here, 250 bucks. So you guys can see stuff adds up really fast. Uh, a lot of these boxes are filled with really nice kitchen stuff. A lot of them are just packed with knickknacks. Some stuff says um, China cabinets, but it's just too much time. We haven't had time to go through. Check this out. These are really nice pieces of furniture. Okay. You know, I used to get for pieces like that, you know, six, seven, eight hundred thousand bucks. Unfortunately, it's not as popular anymore, but it's still a cool China cabinet. I'll get like 150 to 200 dollars for it. There's still a bunch more stuff back here, a bunch more boxes and stuff like this. So we're just gonna keep on working on it, you know, dresses. Um, but we probably won't take too much more video unless I really notice something that's like totally off the hook because we want to get home. It's Halloween and uh, we want to both spend time with the family. So we're going to get this done. If you like some of this stuff, come down to Bargain Hunters. So it's all there. See you guys soon. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe.